Hey, how's it going, everyone? Flat Earth Sage here. Um, today, I wanted to do a quick little video, um, basically addressing. I've already done a video on this in the past on my channel, but I feel like I needed. I want. I wanted to do a more detailed um, version of this. Um, so people can understand it as clear as possible. So, what I'm gonna, so basically, what this video is gonna be about today is um, the resurrection and um, heaven. Um, let me just start off by saying I hear a lot of people um, believing that when we die, we will go to heaven. Um, let me just start off by saying that there is not a single Bible verse to be found in the Bible that promises we go to heaven when we die. Um, in fact, I actually did my homework. And I wrote down all the Bible verses <laughs> for once. So, let me share... Um, What is the first one I want to go through? Um, well, let me start out by saying that a lot of people think that the thief um, on the cross next to Jesus, um, where it basically says, um, basically says right here in Luke uh, 23, 42 through 43, um, says, uh, then he said to, to Yeshua, Lord, remember, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, assuredly, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. Um, now, let me just explain this a little bit for people. This verse does not mean that after the thief died, he went to heaven. That's not what's being spoken of here. Because if you guys, and because as you guys know, Jesus died, he was dead, and rose on the third day. Question, if Jesus was dead and he wasn't in heaven, um, which we can, um, Uh, for we we can actually tell from John twenty seventeen, uh, he says uh, he says to his mother Mary, "Do not touch me, because I have not yet ascended to my Father." Um. Basically, you know, and that that's what I'm trying to get at. You know, the people people will say, "Well, the thief he went to heaven." No, he didn't, unless you know. If you, if you really do think that, then why would the thief go to heaven before the Son of Man went to heaven? Ask yourself that. <clears throat> um, let's see. Um... Another one that people want to bring up, too, is um, the Bible verse about um, Elijah taken up in a whirlwind, whirlwind of heaven. But um, what people don't realize is that um, Elijah ended up coming back ten years later. And <clears throat> we know this because of Second Chronicles 21, uh, 12. And it says this, And a letter came to him from Elijah the prophet, saying, Thus says the Lord God of your father David, because you have not walked in the ways of Jehoshaphat your father, or in the ways of 
Asa king of Judea. Judea. Um, so basically, a year, few years later, he ended up writing a letter. Um, basically writing, writing this letter right here. Um, so, the Bible, and let me just clarify that the Bible specifies um, different types of heaven, um, essentially. Um, there's the heaven where the celestial bodies um, are in motion. Uh, there's the heaven where the birds fly, and then there's God's kingdom. The verse did not say that Elijah was taken up in a whirlwind to God's kingdom. Keep that in mind. Um, let me see what else did I want to go through. Um, so we have a lot of people believing that when you die, you go to heaven. Um, but what people don't realize is what's going to happen is we're actually going to be resurrected. We're going to die in the flesh. Um, we're going to be sleeping and resting until, um, the day, that day comes. Um, we're all raised up. Um, and, um, that's what it basically means. Like, people are waiting for the resurrection, you know. You, you guys, you guys should be waiting for the resurrection. In fact, when, um... Jesus went to raise Lazarus. Um, I man, <laughs> the one verse that I didn't write that that I for, that I didn't have written down. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have to do this from memory. So if I don't say it verbatim, forgive me. Um, he went to um, to Lazarus. Lazarus was covered in sores all over his body. He was dying. Um, dogs were licking his his wounds and stuff like that and uh, it says that he was begging for the crumbs of a of a rich man for for a rich man's food crumbs essentially um, so you know basically he died um, and um, he talked to Martha um, Lazarus wife and Martha basically said you know we're waiting for the resurrection and Jesus said to her basically um, to sum it up like I am the resurrection what, what do you mean I am the resurrection he who believes in me or uh, he, he who believes in the resurrection believes in me It's saying in that part that he is the resurrection. Um, and uh, the la next and probably the last thing that I want to share with you guys um, is a man by the name of Justin Martyr. Um, who lived a um, hundred lived in the year 100 AD so a hundred years after the death of Christ in uh, uh, Nabus uh, Judea and um, he basically said this he basically had this to say um, listen to this guys Abraham Abraham said to said to him um, oh wait <laughs> Sorry, actually, that's not the right one. Here we go. Here's the right one. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's um, what this guy, Justin Martyr, had to say. For I choose not... And I, I just listen to this, fellas. For I choose not to, fo not to follow... Or I choose to follow not men or men's doctrines, but God and the doctrines delivered by him. For if you have fallen in with some who are called Christians, but who do not admit this truth, and venture to blaspheme the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, who say there is no resurrection of the dead, and that their souls, when they die, are taken to heaven, do not imagine that they are Christians. But I and others 
who are right-minded Christians on all points are assured that there will be a resurrection of the dead. And in case you guys want to look this guy up, his name is Justin Martyr. Um, obviously, that's not his last name. Um, he was a martyr for his faith. Um, but uh, I think this guy right here really sums it up really nicely. Um, and uh, basically, to reiterate, guys... Um, the whole idea of ascending up into heaven is, into a heaven is actually a paganistic thought. It's a paganistic idea. Um, it has to do the Egyptians believed in the same thing um, that when they died they would go up to be with Osiris. Um, you know, and this is echoed through different cultures and stuff like that. Um, and. Uh, See if there's anything else I want to cover. Um, I'm going to try to make a video on the whole aspect of hell or Gehenna. Um, probably tomorrow. Um, I feel like if I did both of them at once, this would be way too long a video. And, uh, so yeah, basically, to sum it up, guys, best I can, um, he who believes in the, just like Jesus said, you know, believing in the resurrection is believing in him. Believing in him is believing in the resurrection. If you don't believe in the resurrection, you can't believe, you don't believe in him. I know that might be tough for some people to swallow. I know some people aren't going to like what I have to say, probably. Um, but, uh, this is all things that you can look up in the Bible. These are all things, um, you know, not once does it promise that we would go to heaven. Um, you know, it says that no one has ascended to heaven except, um, it said he who's ascended from heaven, basically, to paraphrase. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make that quick video, because I think people are confused. People think that, you know, that we're all going to just fly up into the sky, um, and he's just going to... He's just going to magically levitate us all up and then come and be like, come on guys, let's go. Um, and actually, that's a good point. Because the question I have is, how could... The Bible speaks in Revelations of a new heaven and a new earth. And that they will be one. Um, and basically, um, that's what ushers in what's known as um, the New Jerusalem. And all God's people will all be there, um, you know, and we'll all, we'll all live, and it says God will dwell with us, um, and, um, so if that's the case, why would we be sent up to heaven just to be sent back down? It's like you could go up there and only be up there for a second and then have God be like, oh, nope, time to go back down, guys. That's not how it works. There's going to, there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth and one. And those of us who believe and are obedient will be gained access into the kingdom of the new Jerusalem. Um... You know, there's no, there's no, oh, oh, if you're good, you're going to go to heaven. I was like, no, no, guys. No, and I know I'm going to have some haters in the comments threads. 
I'm sure. Um, that's why I came with Bible verses. That's why I wrote them down so I'd have them to reference to during this video. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, there's, you know, there's a lot of misconceptions swirling around, you know. Um, don't think something is true just because your pastor told you it was true. You gotta remember that men lie. Men lie. Um, and is that to, that's not to say that your pastor is lying. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that men in general, you know, it doesn't matter what position they're in, doesn't matter. They'll lie. And uh, if they're not lying, they're just believing the lies of other people as truth. Um, now there are now there are plenty of pastors out there that preach the truth, you know. And for those pastors out there, you know, I applaud and I thank you guys for doing that. Um, and uh, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I needed to talk about before I close it out. No. I know I don't think so. Um, yeah, so, again, in conclusion, to wrap it all up, you know, we when we die, we don't go to heaven. Uh, we wait for the resurrection. Um, we believe and we are assured that there is a resurrection. And... Uh, with that being said, guys, um, I hope you guys having having a great day. Um, hope all is well, and I love you all. All right, guys, peace and love.